I cannot believe I'm actually saying the words I'm going by myself to Europe. In today's video, I'm going to be running through how I prep and pack for my trip. This is my first solo trip, so I'm very nervous. I go through everything from where I'll be going, what I'll be doing on my trip, how I plan for my trip, what basics and accessories I'll be taking or have bought, and what makeup, outfits, and skincare I will be packing. This is the ultimate guide for a solo trip to Europe, so buckle up and enjoy. Oh my god, don't even get me started. I am so excited for the British accents. Sign me the f*** up. I just booked my flights. I'm so excited. Today is the 4th, 4th of June, and I have officially booked my flights. Okay, if you're someone like me and constantly gets lost and just has no idea what directions, I feel like a Kentucky trip is for you. This is a trip I'm gonna be going on. I don't wanna give it all away, but these are the countries and I am I shooting myself? Absolutely. As it's official, I've got my Kentucky itinerary of where I'll be staying, everything like that, what is included. I'm so excited. I have a wine tonight and just read through this. I would highly recommend printing out all of your documents so you've got them in front of you. Only the 2nd of July, I'm so stressed. To be honest, I love how the start of the video, I'm like, woo! Now I'm like, holy shit. I've printed out this calendar for the month of July and also August, like the first three weeks. I go on the 25th. I'm not sure if I mentioned the date, but I it's crunch time. I've currently picked up some extra work on the weekends um, at this play center, which I'm so, so grateful for. A sprint to the finish line cash-wise for this trip, but it's going to be so worth it. And I'm so drained from working but i think like it is going to be so worth it i'm really really grateful that i can even have the opportunity to work so um yeah really happy about that but whew, it's been a lot i wanted to show you an app that i've been using it's called notion it says europe hog your trip and the app looks like and i have just been using it for my youtube videos and also to plan this trip being having something to work towards here's my travel items i've got everything listed here like hygiene things that i think i'm gonna forget um I think it's just easier to have it all laid out and planned. I'm going to think of something and be like, oh shit, I can just add it to this app. You can put it in all different um, pages and like sections. And I think it's really well organized. We've got my makeup and beauty and skincare. Um, I'm obviously going to probably add things in and change it around. I'm so stressed about the tan, guys. I'm so stressed. Like, I... Don't know how I'm going to do it, but I just don't want to walk around pale. I can't do that. I've got all of my electronics because I want this to pop off. I want it to pop off. I'm going to be honest. I want to bring you guys along as much as possible, but obviously live in the moment. So here's my electronic items that I'll be taking. Anyway, I think it's a really good app if you're into like planning and kind of having some cute aesthetic notes. I think the Notion is a really good app to use and I would highly recommend it you can also download it on your computer as well but i find it's easier on my phone to figure out back into the rest of the video and see how i'm going i'm stressed for myself did i go down a rabbit hole and buy a million things off amazon you know it i got the must-haves for all the girlies that are gonna go to europe these are essentials i also really like to look at pinterest and instagram for inspiration of outfits that i can kind of style and put together myself i feel like a lot of people think that pinterest is just for like mums but i promise you it's not like if you type up european fashion it will come up with a bunch of cool outfit inspiration i would highly recommend I just got a parcel from pretty little thing i wanted a cute little plain outfit which was like an all black moment um i was gonna wear like black shoes really feel like a ninja and it's just like a little bit too small and not as comfortable as i'd hoped so i'm gonna have to return it and find a new outfit i'm on the hunt to find some good basics it's currently pouring with rain at the moment in melbourne giving me some hope for summer um i need to find some good pair of jeans and basic tops i don't want to go too crazy because i'm honestly stressed about my savings at the moment um but yeah let's see what we can find at some basic stores hopefully i get some bargains The 
first up I had some luck at Cotton On. The Micro Baby Tea in Black. Two for 30 and because I do have quite a bigger chest I got them in a large and I feel like they fit a lot better and they're not like tight under my arms. I am so picky with basics and it took me like three hours to find ones that I thought were good and like would suit. So love these. It's going to stretch over time as well. Next up is Glassens. It's a really nice Y2K inspired skirt. Jason Midwash. A, another white baby tee in a large from the Planet Conscious range. So love that. The thing that I struggle with the most and what I'm going to struggle with the most in packing is because I do have quite larger boobs. Um, It's hard to find tops that like sit and you don't see your straps or I don't want to wear a strapless bra all the time because it's uncomfortable. I got this singlet. It's from the Planet Conscious range as well. And I also got it in a grey. These are the perfect tops and I've also ordered it in a black. This item is a silky smooth. It's sort of, I'd say like a vest style top. It's called Milk on the tag. But this is what it looks like. I tried this on with jeans and it looked so nice. It's that really soft silk material. And I could still wear a bra with it, which is... Such a win. Okay, last I got this black long maxi skirt. I was trying to find jeans for the longest time and I just gave up. And I was like, you know what? If I'm looking a little bit pale, I'll just chuck on this black long maxi skirt and it will still be warm enough. And it's sort of not too thick that I can wear it when it's a bit hotter as well. So love that. And I've got some really cute shoes that they're going to go with it as well. That is my little travel basics haul. And I can't wait to get into the packing. I'm getting excited now, but very stressed at the same time. I still don't have a suitcase. <laughs> I don't have a suitcase. I don't have like walking shoes and I don't have a cute plane outfit. So that's what I'm gonna tackle today. I'm bringing mum along as well because I'm so, I, I need help with a suitcase of like what one to buy. So 25 and still need mum's help. That's fine though, emotional support. Wish me luck, wish me luck. The universe really had my back. Strand bags had a 70% off sale. Okay, can we take a moment? This is a suitcase I wanted. I've dreamt about. I needed. It's a hard case and really good wheels on the bottom. Also picked up a tag to put in my suitcase and got an extra black one and this little bag. And then she was like, oh, do you want something else? And I was like, yeah. Free little eye mask. Hells yeah. I just love how big the suitcase is. Like, I know I can fit a lot of clothes in there. It's got that little strap and then another section as well obsessed and the one thing that sold me was it has locks on it because safety first when i tell you i'm stressed i'm stressed i'm looking back at these outfits and i go mm, i don't know i want basic but colorful outfits i can mix and match with i don't know about the skirts i'm getting stressed about that love that black moment oh that's cute for paris i don't know i'm not sure i don't know i'm very overwhelmed hey it's time it is time to start packing. I'm so excited. I've curled my hair, put on a bit of makeup and tan just so I can see when I'm trying on looks a bit better now what it actually looks like. I'm trying to get a good thumbnail because I don't know what to do. I'm loving this tan. I've put like two coats on and I think it's pretty nice and natural. Like it looks good with the grey. So this is a tan I've been using. I use Uber Tan for like the 10 day lasting express but this is really good, this gradual tan. So far, so good. Big fat coffee. I actually, I'm so, I cannot believe the day has come. I have been daydreaming about packing and like laying everything out. And uh, that's when the holiday starts to feel like it's actually gonna happen, is when you start packing. So enjoy this fun little montage of me packing. Cheers. Hi, Alfie.
like a lot of tops. I'm gonna have to really just pull out my whole entire wardrobe and then just see how much I can shove into my suitcase. I've got this really nice like long maxi dress, a white one and then one also from like one mile, but it's so heavy. Like I don't think I'm gonna be able to take that. No, nah, okay, I'm not taking that. That was a quick decision. This is super cute, this orange dress. Like I can see myself wearing this in Spain or on a yacht party, that's all I've always envisioned. Um, but they're just too heavy, like they're gonna take up way too much space. So that's a shame, but it's fine. This is how I'm going with the t-shirts. So I'm gonna have to decode all of that. This really does show just how much of a hoarder I am. These are the shoes I'm gonna be taking, some platform Converse's platform white chunky shoes. I'm gonna have to wear one of these on the plane so it doesn't take up so much space. These little platform shoes from Princess Polly, so cute. Looks good with any dress and a set. Stunning, can't wait. These ones from Cotton On. And they're like chunky as well, but not as platform, which I'm spewing. I got these a while back. Um, I don't know if they're like, they look a bit weird. Do these look like Jesus sandals to you? I don't know, anyway. How fun this is. I'm not gonna be able to take any of these. Like a white bag would be fun. Maybe I should just see if that could fit. Cause that could look cute for like little white outfits, like an all white moment. And then I've got this bag, which actually fits my camera in it, which is a bit more like, this isn't gonna, no, my vlogging is worth it. And uh, I'll just see. I'll see. Mum's come in to help, um, help with my packing process. She tried to show me a hack for oversized shirts. But like, <laughs> look, <laughs> can you see that? Okay, well I've lost. Anyway, but she's been really good at helping oh, I me. Work. Thanks, yeah. Um, I think you were more thinking like you tied up like this. Yeah, but it was instead of doing that. Mm. So glad I am a hoarder and like really went hard on my shopping addiction because now I don't have to buy like I've got all these yeah, shirts. Yeah, I take black. Yeah, I've got it in white as well, and they're quite like they're light. Yeah, they're light, but also they'd keep me warm. And I've also got it in a brown. Wow. Well, Where are they from? Um, this one's from Cotton On. Oh, that yeah. black she one. Had fold them too. Is this one? It looks so good with my uggies and. Yeah, but I like those, mate. Where are they from? See and these on. tops are so good. Yeah, cotton on. I think this one. Yeah, then that's enough for the shirts. This. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> tired. He's tired. That? Nah. A denim jacket. No, because I... I was really stupid. On my birthday, I just thought... I don't need this denim jacket, it's old, I don't want it. Oh. So I just left it there, which was really stupid. Yeah, it was stupid. Perfume, I'm thinking Ari perfume. Oh shit, that gave me a heart attack. Cute, fun. Um, what other perfumes do I have? Oh my god, I have this body spray. How old is this? Jesus. Does this go off? Smells all right to me. Sunnies. I bought a sunglass case from Amazon. Why didn't I do that? These fun little ones. Purple, maybe. Hats, this cute one. I don't really have any hats. I didn't really think about that, did I? I was a bit silly. I don't wear a hat anyway. I don't know why I'm thinking I'm gonna wear it. Oh, these white sunnies. Okay, we're moving on to accessories. Look how fun this little body chain is. I got a really cool jewelry box off Amazon. All black moment. And you can put all of your jewelry and stuff in here. So I'm gonna kind of fill this out and see how I go. I'm sorry, hello, doesn't this screen summer? This is from Naked Pink. 
I've got two friends that have a jewelry business, so I'm gonna like try to take as much stuff as theirs and just, you know, really tell the Europe galleys what's up. That's so cool. Okay, let's do the next one. I think a bunch of these cute necklaces are really easy to style and I have a lot of like blues and colorful outfits. So I think that that's gonna look really cool. This is another one of my friends. It's called Kiss by Summer. Look how nice that is. How pretty that is. Like perfect with like an all white moment. And then that, oh my God. And some light pink makeup or blue. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit sick because I'm stressed. So that's why I think if I sound a bit funny, that's why. So just ignore that. We're gonna pretend like I'm not stressed at all. I'm cool, calm and collected. Oh my God, the earrings. Okay, these are a favorite of mine and such a crowd pleaser whenever I wear them. I feel like they have to come on looking true. These are some little vodka earrings. Like they just have to. And here I can put them all in here. So I'm gonna fill this out and then show you when it's done and see what I've come up with my jewelry selection. This is a must have from Amazon. Okay, here is my accessories. Oh my God, I'm obsessed with these earrings. I cannot wait to wear these. I have the perfect top to go with it. So thank you very much, Mel. I've got a body chain in there, some little silver jewels, little fun text me and little sea horse and some nice little pearls as well. Um, I don't really wear many rings, but this is fun. And so it's a little, little um, flower. Then I've got my earrings. So appropriate. And just maccas and vodka and like some little cute love hearts. And then my necklaces are all in here. Like I'm obsessed. How good is that? I just completely forgot about bathers. I have not, I'm not going to try them on. I don't know if that's going to ruin my mood or make me feel better. You know what I mean? Like, oh. Am I even gonna go swimming? I don't know, I'm gonna have to pack them anyway. I've got this yellow bikini top, which is so hot. The collection that Abby Chatfield did with the brand, I don't know what it's called, I'll link it up on the screen now because I forgot the name. These bikini bottoms, it's gonna just go so nicely with it. I am scared for summer. I have not worked out one bit, which is really bad. And I'm just not really like feeling like wearing bikinis, but I guess once I get there, I'm not gonna care. Like I'm not, it is what it is, you know? I've got this little fun bikini top. This one piece, which is cute, from Rip Curl. Bright pink bikini top. I'm going for all the summer vibes. And, and I've got this, like, little fun, colourful one, too. And just a plain black pair. I think that should be enough. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I've got these little organisers. I bought them two years ago when lockdown happened. And I was like, get me out of Melbourne. And let me live. Um, and I just I just knew I was going to be going. So I'm going to be attempting to fit all of this into my suitcase. Which is good. It came with little ones to put um, your toiletries and stuff in. Mum was like to me, do you want help folding? And I was like, no, I should be fine. But in my head, I'm like, please help me because I'm so bad at it. I'm going to literally be such a big fat baby at the airport. I'm going to be so sad to leave my family but i'm just so excited like this is what i needed I actually have so much room. Here I can put like all my undies and bras and shit. Here I've got all my skirts and like sets at the top. 
Here are literally all of my dresses in there. And here I've got shirts, which I've got another one I need to put in that's coming from Princess Polly. Here I've got all my baby tees. Like, I can fit more in here. It's so good. And then here I've got basics. And it's there's still so much room. I'm blown away. I've got my Sundays in here because I don't know what else to, to like put in these things. I've got so much room. Okay, that is my packing pretty much done. I'm going to end this video here because there's a part two. So... I hope you guys enjoyed prepping and packing with me. I'm going to see you in part two because I've got a lot more to cover with my carry-on essentials, Amazon haul, and what makeup I'll be packing, plus the big, big event, the big moment. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye!